I've been a voice trainer for the BBC. I'm not blowing my own trumpet. I'm not tooting my own horn, but it just happens to be correct. Uh, I've uh, trained with the BBC and I've taught other people at the BBC about how to use their voice, how to present. I've also trained with the prestigious Central School of Speech and Drama in London as well. And passing on some of those tips that I've learned, that I've picked up also from 30 years in front and behind the microphone. Hello, I'm Peter. Peter Stewart, Tweeter Stewart on Twitter, T-W-E-T-E-R-S-T-E-W-A-R-T. Get a better broadcast podcast and voice over voice today. We're talking about the conversational style of reading. In fact, we're talking about the conversational style of reading over the next several weeks. That's what it's all about. But as I mentioned yesterday, we're looking at, first of all, conversational style in the round. We've got to know what else is around it, some of the considerations to bear in mind. So you know what it is that you're being asked to do when you're asked to do it. The conversational style differs from the announcer style, which we were talking about yesterday. So go back and listen to that one, I would suggest, if you didn't hear yesterday's podcast episode. Because now the desired sound is someone who sounds more authentic, not announcery. Someone who's relatable, believable, conversational. People don't want to be told what to buy, but they want to have the, the, the benefits of that item, that product, that brand, that service explained to them by someone like them, a friend or a neighbour. This real read style is deemed to be better at building a relationship. It's one that's less talking or less shouting at you to one that's more talking with you. A style shift from authority to authenticity. A style that's more personal and trustworthy. It's more understated heartfelt, real, credible. In fact, the kind of way you talk to a friend offering insight, experience and suggesting advice rather than a a, a hard sell. So those two, the announcer style at one end of the spectrum and the conversational style perhaps at the other end of the spectrum are perhaps the, the two extremes of a read. You've got the energetic announcer to the close confidant. And if you think about it, the the factors which cause them to be different include some kind of obvious elements, if you think about it. There's volume and projection. The announcer is, is louder. The conversational style is softer. You've got the speed of delivery. The announcer is usually faster. The conversational style is usually slower. But there are also some other really interesting variables to bear in mind when you're looking at the differences between all these different styles, those two outliers, perhaps, are the, are the extremes, the parameters of the presentational style. So you've got the volume and projection, the speed of delivery, and also the length of the sentences. The sentences for an announcer script are likely to be shorter, harder, stronger, tighter. In conversational language, in conversational presentation, likely to be longer, more fluid, more conversational, more, as I mentioned a couple of days ago, maybe with some pauses in, and, 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 and maybe the, the grammatical construct taken out. There's also the word count. The word count for an announcer script is likely to be higher because of the speed of the read. Conversational, maybe a bit lower because it's slower. And also the script punctuation as well. Because when you're asked to go into announcer mode, you've got more pace and projection, and therefore usually much more direction in the punctuation. Exclamation marks, underlinings perhaps, capitalizations, that kind of thing. Conversational is much more fluid. So perhaps the the punctuation, the layout, the direction in the script is going to be different. We're going to be looking at all of these elements and more over the course of the next several weeks as Get A Better Broadcast podcast and Voice Over Voice continues. So there's the announcer style over here and the conversational style over here. Tomorrow, considerations for other reading styles as Get A Better Broadcast podcast and Voice Over Voice continues. From London, I'm Peter Stewart.